hope you have read question number two it has two parts and there seems to be no sub parts and hence marks assigned should be one each now answer part a the wavelength of de broglie wave associated with electron of mass m and energy e is lambda e is equals to h upon 2 me square root this is relation number 1 now the wavelength of de broglie wave associated with photon of energy e is lambda of photon that should be equals to hc by e relation number 2 and according to the question we are supposed to find the ratio of de broglie wavelength associated with electron to that of the wavelength associated with the photon thus lambda of electron upon lambda of photon that should be equals to h upon 2 me square root divided by hc by e h and h will cancel and this should be equals to after simplification 1 by c is square root of e by 2 m this is the required answer part b of the question is why do macroscopic objects in our daily life not show wave like properties whereas in the sub atomic domain the wave like character is significant answer to this question is for the macroscopic objects in our day to day life the wavelength of de broglie wave is negligible compared to the size of the object and hence these are not visible however in sub atomic domain the wavelength of the de broglie waves is comparable to the size of the sub atomic particles and hence these are significant now answer to part b of the question in day to day life the wavelength of the de broglie wave associated with the microscopic objects is extremely tiny compared to the size of the microscopic objects and hence de broglie waves are not visible in day to day life however for the subatomic particles the wavelength of the de broglie waves is significantly large compared to size of the subatomic particle and hence wave nature dominates over the particle nature 